Hey everyone and welcome to the vlog. So today we are painting car seats. So often when you buy yourself a car you don't really get a choice because you're buying a second hand car so you might pick a color but the interior normally is whatever the previous owner ordered so if you want to change the color of your seat you've got two options one you can um, get it rehide but that's really expensive or the second option and the option that many people don't seem to know exists is that you can actually paint the seats now at first when you think of it that's a bit wow why would you do that that's a crazy idea it's gonna look really tacky but actually when you think about leather seats leather from cows doesn't come yellow or blue or or red it's actually colored and the company called furniture clinic whose link you'll see up on the screen right now they are specialists in this area and um and they, originally they started off doing um repairs or color repairs on sofas but actually the kits that they do you can use them for your cars so i've used their kits before on a previous tt diode and the results well no one could actually tell that it being recolored but today is a little bit different because we are going to take my white or faded seats in the tt and we're going to change them to a mercedes chestnut no not chestnut hazelnut brown so we are completely changing the color of the seat so how do we do it and what does the kit look like well let's take a look okay so what do you get in a kit well a kit to do a four seater car is going to cost you 75 pound they do a smaller kit but i really wouldn't risk that if you have uh, more than two seats to do i've got only two seats so i got the 75 pound kit and um, hopefully that will be plenty to do what i need it to do but what do you get in the kit well for a start you get the following so the first thing you get is the leather prep what this does is strips the lacquer yes i know lacquer you actually have lacquer on the seat of your car and that stops the color from rubbing off on your clothes and protects the leather from any contaminants so the leather prep is used to strip the lacquer off the um, paint you also get a alcohol cleaner so that's used to clean down the seat once you've stripped off the lacquer because it will leave a number of small little bits you get the paint so in my case the paint is a uh, custom paint which they make up they have a list of paints that they do out of the box or you can upload your own color that you want so again this one is mercedes hazelnut brown which is fitted or you see on the latest models of mercedes in the 75 pound kit you get two airbrush propellants so it uses an airbrush or you use an airbrush to paint the um paint on well there's two methods there's a dab on which you do at first you put a base coat but then the finishing you use a, an airbrush which you'll see shortly to power the airbrush brush rather you need some airbrush propellant and all these are air cans that you attach to the um, airbrush and that comes with the kit you also get a cloth you'll need that to clean down the um, seats in between um, using the leather prep and alcohol cleaner a couple of pairs of gloves which you'll need to protect your hand from being colored in paint a couple of sponges a scrubbing pad to scrub the paint clean a sealer that you seal the newly applied paint once you've done before you put the sealer in you'll have either a matte or glossy coat i've gone for the matte look because that's how new cars tend to come so the matte is the actual lacquer that you use to protect the color and to um, preserve the color and also to give the um, seat that um, new look so it's the matte finisher you want and finally the airbrush that you will use to do your final coat so what you see here is what comes with the 75 pound kit oh there's one other thing as well some really good instructions so that's the kit in its entirety now let's see how we actually put it on the car 
Okay, so the seat is out of the car. So this is the main driver's seat. The first thing that we have to do is we've got to strip off the lacquer on the seat. That's what protects the seat or stops the paint on the uh, leather from bleeding through. So if you ever wondered that cows don't come naturally this color, the seats are all levers are, are painted. So you have a natural skin color and then they're painted. But in order for it to remain like this, they put a lacquer on top. You're gonna to see the whole process today. So the first thing we need to do is strip that off and then we can get that ready for um, painting. So let's do that in a second. But first of all, I'm gonna show you some of the reasons why I am painting the seat. And uh, let's take a look at that now. Okay, so here's a close up of the seat. So first of all, if you look down here, I don't know if you can see it, get my head out of the way, the camera rather, but there is a, you can see these lines, which are not too bad. What is bad is this bit here. So the camera doesn't give it justice, but this is all pretty cracked up and there's no, and, and it's actually worn. You can see there where the person who had this car got out at a prick, um, and it's just worn the material away, all the way around, all down there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Get another light on there so you can have a look better so hopefully you can see it now there you go so where it's all worn away it just doesn't look very good so by painting it it will allow me to improve that and we can make it look more well newer rather than rehiding it which will cost around 1500 pound for this car this process costs literally 75 pounds. So let's put this camera back in place and we'll start stripping the, uh, you can probably see it better like in the shiny, you can see the um, lacquer. Let's strip the lacquer back and get it ready for, get ready for painting. Okay, so stage one is with a leather prep. So what we're going to do is use this to strip off the um, the lacquer. So let's do that now. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to use the cotton buds as well. So the cotton buds they sit inside like that, and then um, we coat we coat it with this, and then we scrub. This will actually take away the lacquer as well. And we know that we've got a transfer when we start seeing paint on the scrying pad so we're going to crack on and do that right now okay so next Next what we need to do is we now need to use the alcohol cleaner to clean down the um, leather that we've just stripped. So it's pretty dirty. So use that and the supplied cloth to clean it down and um, that will get it ready for stage three, which is to do the um, first application of the paint. So let's get on and do that now. Okay, so that's that bit done. Look how much dirt has come out of the chair. So you can see how much uh, oil and, and grease is in there. So that's that bit sorted now. Um, the next bit we need to do now is, where are we? So what we do is we apply some of the paint onto the chair using a sponge. Now this is the one I use on the on the other seat which is already done and the whole purpose of this bit is that you give it a first coat and by giving the car first coat the base coat as it's called it also allows you to get in between all the little creases because when you spray it um, the spray is good but it's difficult to get it inside these bits 
without causing um, a run. So by giving it a base coat and getting in with these bits, then we hope to avoid that and at least get all these cracked bits coated with at least one coat before we go for the main spray job. So we'll do that and then we will come back to it. Okay, let's go and do that now. Right, so that's the base coat covered. Looks a little bit of a mess, doesn't it, really? But don't worry, all will come good. So now that we've done the base coat, now what we do next, bear with me. So next what we do is we paint it with our airbrush can. So there's our airbrush can. That's just basically propelled air and inside there you've got your canister with screws on and at the end of that we've got our airbrush. So we will fill this shortly with uh, paint and then you've got your little trigger button here and then literally we just keep doing coats. We do about three or four coats. That should be enough and that should completely transform the way this seat looks. So, But before we do that, I need to give this some time to dry. Um, probably need about 10 minutes in between coats and because it's quite hot and humid today that's going to be slightly quicker if it's a cold day you might want to use a hair dryer but trust me 30 degrees that's what it's outside I'm sweating like a pig in here um, in my garage so it's not going to need long to dry so let's give this coat some time to dry and then we'll get this prepped ready for the first coat moments later okay so here we go. So we've just filled up our can with um, paint. That's now ready to go. So we're gonna give the first coat with the airline. So let's go do that right now. moments later Okay, so once you've done all the um, coats of paint and you're happy with the finish, like what we have here, you then need to seal the paint in and you use the leather finish super uh, seal. So this essentially is a lacquer that goes on top the um, paint and this is what stops the paint from coming off on you when you're driving the car. So you need to do about two paints, sorry, two coats of the super seal and that should be enough to um, seal the um, the color in and to um, protect the lever so uh, let's get on and do that right now <laughs> So we're going to now do the last coat, which is our matte finish. So I've chosen matte to finish off my car or seats. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a creamy and um, that's going to give it a kind of a matte. We're going to take the shine off and we'll make the seat look more natural leather, which is what you tend to get in more modern day cars, particularly Audis they tend to have a matte finish. So let's give that a coat and uh, see how we get on. Okay. 
okay so that is the finished result as you can see it looks much better much better than the cream I think what do you think you tell me in your post but it is now all done all one color so the trim I'm going to change that to black so that's all the stuff that's underneath here it's still cream looks okay but I think black will go better so I'm gonna get some black plastic trim paint but um yeah that is that is it okay so I'm gonna end it there for this week um, it's quite detailed as you can see I've done two two seats now still got to do the interior panel so we'll do that next week I'll go get some more air cans because um, I don't think I've got enough air to paint it so next week we will reassemble the car put it all back in so you'll see that and we'll finish off the other two panels and that should be it I think once we get the um, car back together it will be in a much better place for the moment um, Look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good week. Always, always.